The Peter Schiff Show. Joining me now is my guest, Jack Bolinski, who is president of products of Nature, Inc., and they are a distributor of over-the-counter, all-natural products. Uh, They were founded in 1994, and they're based here in Ridgefield, uh, Connecticut. Uh, Its best-selling product is a natural progesterone cream and can be found naturally in retailers, nationally, excuse me, in retailers such as uh, GNC. Uh, Progesterone is a hormone uh, that is found naturally in the human body, and apparently uh, uh, Nature Inc. is having a huge battle with the FDA over this particular product, and I'd like to introduce my guest now to describe exactly what has been going on uh, with uh, with Nature Inc. and the um, FDA. Uh, Jack, welcome to the show. Yes, Peter, thanks very much. So first, des- describe to me your product and what it does, you know, why people are buying it. Well, the, the, the product originated almost 70 years ago. It's been sold over the counter in health food stores, and it really blossomed 15 years ago with the emergence of five books written by a Dr. John Lee. Now, Dr. John Lee, in his practice, previous to writing the books, found that women were not benefiting from synthetic hormones. So he started researching progesterone, And he did 10 years of research and began implementing natural progesterone, which again had been on the market at that time for 40 years and found amazing benefits for his patients. Now, the importance of maintaining a good progesterone level for women is illustrated in numerous clinical studies, including one by Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, Maryland, where they found that women deficient in progesterone This was a study of 35 years, die 10 times more often from all cancers. So Dr. Lee did all the research, quit his practice early, retired from his practice, and began touring the country as well as writing five books about progesterone. Now, subsequently, what's happened with the FDA is there are probably two dozen firms similar to mine throughout the country that are offering this. It's in every health food store uh, natural alternative practice. No, your product is it, this, this is a cream that's applied topically. It's applied topically. The hormone goes right through the skin into the bloodstream, so it's a slow release program. So you can rub it in anywhere on the body. <laughs> Absolutely. And over over the course of time, and you said this has been around for a long time. Are there any reported? Is are there any negative side effects? Is anybody being hurt uh, by by applying this cream? There have been no side effects reported, and interestingly, what happened 40 years ago with the advent of what's referred to as HRT, the pharmaceutical industry took this natural progesterone molecule that is bioidentical to what's in a woman's body and converted it chemically so that they could patent it. So when they patented it, it became foreign to the body and comes with multitude of side effects and actually causes cancer, strokes, and heart attacks. But this has now this, been patented and approved by the FDA. Correct. So, you, in, so you, can, you can get a prescription for this from a doctor. Yes. Right now, what's happened in the last five years is all the pharmaceutical companies now have seen the benefits of natural progesterone. So the FDA has patented five separate drugs which they previously, all the pharmaceutical companies just wanted the synthetic versions. Now, are the synthetic versions any more effective than the the natural version? No, actually, most women, 85% of women that take the synthetic version either stop or quit it within a year. Because because of the side effects? the side effects. And what are the side effects? Oh, the the side effects are irritability, depression, uh, as I said, cancer, strokes, and heart attacks. How much does your cream cost? Uh, the price is twenty nine ninety five. And how long is and it going to last you? That's a three month supply. So so it's so about ten dollars. So about ten dollars a month. How much is the synthetic version that is patented and, and approved by the FDA? Uh, that ranges anywhere <clears throat> up to two fifty three hundred dollars a month in a pill form. And now they have a new injectable shot that been FDA approved, if a woman who's pregnant wants to avoid miscarriage, she can use that, and it's $30,000 for a nine-month supply, All right, well, 20 shots. <laughs> well, that's off the charts, but even <laughs> if you take the pills, yeah. $300 a month versus $10 a month, that means, you know, if you annualize that, you're talking about...